persuasion is different to imposing your own way. Persuasion is about influencing, either directly or indirectly, the other party in order to change a certain way of thinking, feeling or acting. Every day, we persuade others and they persuade us many times and in many different ways. When a boy asks his mum for candy, he can do this by showing affection or by showing his temper. In a similar way, we can influence others either by casting a threatening look or through a friendly gaze. Our tone of voice, our body language are other elements which can be used for persuasion. Persuasion can be useful in any aspect of life. For this reason, you have to know how to use it to your advantage. Not every form of persuasion is acceptable or efficient. Our ability to persuade is linked to four elements. The person, the form, the content and the context. Today, we are going to focus on the importance of the person. If you want to be more persuasive, make sure that others perceive you to be someone who possesses all of these four features. Without them, it will affect your ability to influence others. The more you demonstrate the following six characteristics, the more successful you will be in persuading others. Kindness. If you are kind, your message will reach the other person more easily. There is something physical and psychological about this approach, as you have to pay attention both to your appearance and to the way you communicate your message. Credibility. You should avoid contradictions. Try to be as coherent as possible. If someone detects a lie, that person's mind will cast doubt over everything else you say. Objectivity. When an opinion is supported by facts, it gains greater legitimacy. When you show neutrality and emotional control, you become more credible. Active listening. To persuade, you have to listen. If you do not show a willingness to listen, it doesn't matter whether you're right or you're wrong, since you're not going to persuade anyone. Empathy. Convince others that you respect them and their opinions. Separate the content from the form. Even if you do not reach an agreement, show respect for the other person and the relationship you have with them by using empathy. Flexibility. If you want to find the solution, an all or nothing attitude does not help you. Look for aspects you have in common instead of whatever keeps you apart. Remember that you are constantly influencing others and they are influencing you. For this reason, it's important to know how to persuade others effectively. Take care of how others perceive you. Try to be kind, credible, objective, empathetic and flexible. The more you demonstrate these features, the better your persuasive skills will become.